My name is Larry Jordan, and this Smart Sound tutorial showcases the power of playlists in ExpressTrack Web. You see, ExpressTrack Web gives you the ability to listen to music, create playlists, send playlists, receive playlists, listen to playlists, <laughs> all to suggest, review, and approve music. Even better, it's all online, always current, and all free. Let me show you how it works. I've selected some orchestral pieces which are specifically devoted to action and I want to send them over to a client to have them review whether the music is going to be appropriate for the chase scene that we're putting together. Well, to do that, I need to create a playlist and to create a playlist, I need to log on. So we go to the top right corner of this menu here and click log in. If you don't have a new account, create a new account. There's no charge to do so. It just takes a couple minutes to fill out the information. Then you'll use your email address and a password and I'm now logged in and notice that the login button has now gone to log out. I want to create a new playlist that I can send to my client so let's call this client playlist and click submit. There's no limit to the number of playlists I have available but in this particular case I'm just going to create one. You select the playlist you're working with from this pop-up menu right here. Let's add a clip to the playlist so we'll take a listen That's definitely dramatic chase scene, so we'll highlight the clip we want to add to the playlist and click the plus key. This allows me to add the track. If I make a mistake and want to remove a track from the playlist, click the minus key. It says, you sure you want to do that? And I'll say yes. And now we'll add it back in again just to prove that I can. Let's listen to another clip. Yes, very chase scenish, so we'll click the plus key and add that. Let's add one more. Good enough, we'll click the plus key, and now I've got three. I could have many more, and a scroll bar would show up, but we can illustrate this process with three. If I double click this icon for text, it opens up a window, and I can say, George. That's my client's name. This would be a great track to use for the chase scene. And when I click Submit, notice that this is now turned to yellow. If you roll over with your mouse, the yellow, it pops up the actual text that I've entered. They don't have to double click anything. It automatically shows up in a rollover. In fact, I want to change the priority of this clip so that it's my highest priority so they hear it first. So I select the clip I want to move and click the up arrow key. So now what I've done is I've simply changed the stacking order which these up and down arrows will allow me to do. Next I need to send the playlist to my client so I'll click the send button. It says who do you want to send it to? Well first put in my name and then send who the client is. And we'll just send it to myself. When I click submit it gathers all this information together and sends it off in an email, in this case, to me. Here's the email that ExpressWeb sent. When I click on the web address itself, it automatically opens a new browser and allows me to preview the music which is inside the playlist. Here's the cool part. You don't need an account to listen to a playlist. You can send playlists to anyone. Again, note that if I roll over the yellow note icon, it pops up the note saying that this would be a great track to use for our chase scene. I can now listen to each of the clips and decide which of them is the one that I like, which can save a tremendous amount of time when we're trying to review and select exactly the right music for the projects we're working on. The power of Express Track Web is that it makes it easy for you to listen to and approve music without spending any money or wasting any time. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching this Sonic Fire Pro tutorial.